Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a I have an interesting deck to show you here. <laughs> I'm not sure how to best talk about this because it really does bring up a a new topic to discuss when it comes to the popularity of tarot, how quote unquote mainstream it is and how and where tarot is going and essentially like prices of decks. So let me just talk about what this actually is. If you don't know by the title of the video, it is the Christian Dior uh, Tarot. Uh, it, this I got off of eBay. I was very lucky to get it on uh, on an auction and I, well, lucky, but also like, girl, she was, she was not cheap, let me tell you. And it's funny because like the person who probably had it most likely got it as a gift because these were sent out uh, as invitations uh, to the uh, tarot-themed uh, Dior show, which was like I believe last year. I think around this time, I want to say it was last. It was the last season, I believe. But, anyways, so essentially, what this is is uh, the sketch. I would consider it like the the collection of like sketches and designs and patterns that they used. Uh, on the, in the show, uh, you know, for the dresses and for the for the for you know, I'm I'm and let me just put, make make a huge disclaimer here. I am not at all into really fashion itself, but how Dior showed uh, you know d represented the tarot in the promotional videos that they did uh, for the for the seasons for that season's uh, line. Uh, it it was really impressive and really. Uh, a great uh, hint, introduction uh, to tarot itself and all that. Now, what I will say is that this deck is obviously... The the availability of this deck and the future of the of this deck, who knows what, <laughs> you know, uh, what, what they'll do with it. If they will publish it or not, I doubt they will. But I hope the artist, uh, you know gets a publisher and hopefully also maybe redoes a few of the cards i feel like some of the cards were a little bit lacking but the majors really do are like the 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 crown jewels really <laughs> as with most uh marseille themed decks and this is a marseille deck but yeah we'll, we'll, but we'll, we'll we'll get into it i'll post videos uh down below of obviously the infamous you know visconti's force uh uh, it uh, inspired uh, tarot video that they did through the Castle of Cross Destinies, inspired by uh, this by the book by uh, Italo Calvino. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. I think that's the name, right? Castle of Cross Destinies. That's his book. I really need to get that book. My sister has one of his books, but not that one. But it is something I want to read. Anyways, en enough of that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I yeah. This is one of the decks that I was like on the hunt for. Let me tell you because let me see actually. Let me let me get let me get her zoomed in for you. Hold on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, shit. Mm, mm, hold on. You can't because there's so much details going on here. Uh, so yeah, here we have the fool or la mat here. Um, I feel like there's like a there's like a mix of the names here because I know there's like it's like there's Italian and then there's I think there's French? I could be totally wrong. No, no, probably wrong. Not going to talk about it. I'm not 100%, uh, you know, established on, like, the terminologies and, and the Marseille and, like, the variations of the different languages and the representations on there. I believe Le Faux, F-O-U, that's usually French. I don't know. Annika, nobody here will, will, will be able to, to tell to tell you in, in her videos. I'm not sure if she still has them up. But anyways, here we have the Fool. We have the Jester's Cap. We have the Dog. Uh, and I believe the the background is supposed to be maybe Rider Waite Smith uh, hinting towards. I could be wrong, but yeah. Moving on though. Here we have the magician. Look at that. It's so there's so much going on here. There's so much going on. I love it. It's like you see like I believe it's like an alchemist table. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> Uh, there is no guidebook for it, you know, but it is, from what I see, from looking at the videos, it seems that they were taking a lot of 
notes from Jodorowsky's uh, book on the tarot. So yeah, here we have the high priestess. We see the moon here. And then we see the throne here of the high priestess being empty. This empty space. And this massive cathedral, the empty space, you know. Uh, here we have the empress. Beautiful empress. The ring here. And then the pomegranates. Uh, the pillow. So you, you do see like, okay, yeah. There's obviously Rider Waite Smith influence going on here. Then we have the emperor. Again, the empty seat, the throne, but there, they didn't want to put any people in it, you know. I get it, you know. Um, the, the high priest? No, the pope, the hierophant, the pope, le pape. Then here we have the lovers, if I remember correctly. Like, through the video, I thought they said that this was the fool card. I was like, wait a minute. But this one also makes sense. But this has the fool. Also makes sense, but, you know. Anyways. Anyways, I need to, I, unless I'm wrong and I misheard or something. Here we have the chariot. Very blank. It almost looks unfinished. But I think that's the look that they were going for. Justice. And so I believe they also went for a round themed, a round shaped deck uh, to go with. Uh, one of the other decks to match up with, or, you know, because uh, one of the other decks that they used in their fashion uh, line previously in the past is the, oh my gosh, what's it called? The Mother Piece, I believe, is what it's called. I don't have that deck, but obviously you can see uh, why. I mean, a round deck alone is already something interesting to look at. But here, I think they just, with the majors, they really just blew it out of the water, you know, with how beautiful this is. Hanged man. And then death. Ugh. And you can see like they actually just like got like a textile round circle and just put it on the chest of a of a dress. Uh uh in in one of the dresses. Uh in one of the videos. I'll, again, I'll link them in the description down below. I believe like either the high priestess or the no, the Empress, I believe, they made into a dress skirt. Uh so yeah, here we have temperance. the devil and these are also available as like plates uh on the dior shop and i'm like girl we don't care about plates give us the cards <laughs> uh so yeah i will not be using this i will probably be making scans and printing my own usable copy for my own personal use uh to try it out and work with it and see how it reads because you know, I don't want to actually shuffle the actual copy here uh, and, and and risk damaging the cards and also damaging the gold on the back because I don't think this is... A, in terms of cardstock, it feels very... Um, she's lacking. We'll say that. Uh, so yeah, here we have the moon and the sun with the sunflowers facing it, the chain here. I love it. I love it. And then judgment very very beautiful and you're gonna see like they kind of like you know drop the ball quote unquote with uh with the minor arcana you'll see right now here we have the world so yeah here we have the ace of wands still okay the clubs yeah the, the clover yeah okay yeah beautiful and then it just goes like that and then it repeats throughout uh you know throughout the throughout the cards you know and I feel like, uh, you know, this is, again, with a Marseille take on it, you don't really need to do something different every time, you know. Uh, I like how they use a tree to, to signify this, you know. It's like one tree giving off multiple uh, clovers. Now, the core cards, I thought they were going to also do something neat, interesting, cool, different. Not really. The pages all have, like the uh, these birds here uh, and all of them have them like that and i wish they kind of did something again i wish they did something different you know the the, the knights it's the it's sagittarius uh, the constellation that the artist uh, pietro rufo uh drew for the like he has a const like a drawing of like this the 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 stars and the constellations i believe um so yeah the queen of the queens all have a moon motif in the center uh, it kind of looks like an eye. 
again and that's where you can usually you know you would be able to read with it and all you know read with the directionality of the circular decks and then we have the king uh with the lions uh, all the kings have lions on them and then here we have the ace and you can see the 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 chalice is from, I believe, the Temperance card. Uh, so yeah, let me see where is that. Thirteen, yeah, yeah, right here. They just took it from the uh, Temperance card, and then they just copy pasted, <laughs> really. Um, but what I do appreciate though is that they kept it well, except for like the twos and I believe the threes. The twos they kept it again. The Temperance thing, I I, I don't like. To, I mean, it matches up, but. I don't know. I wish they could have done. I wish they didn't, you know. You, you kind of think like, oh, it's going to go. It's going to keep. No. They, after four, they add structure. And I like that. That's actually pretty pretty clever because the four is it's about structure, stability. And then it sets in the pattern of, you know, one in the center. And then it, add, and then it lines up all in another pattern, you know. And then one in the center. And then eight in a ring. And so on and so on. I, I I don't mind this. This actually looks pretty cool. You know, I do like how people use when when they, when you make a round deck. Why are you gonna keep you know uh, obvious upright? You know, I, I like I like rounded symmetrical uh, takes on it like this. You know, it's it looks it looks nicer though. Of course, it's not as symmetrical here as the other ones, but still, it's. You know, it's, it, it, you don't know which is up and down, you know. And then again, the pages, like I said, the, the courts, I'll say it again, and I'll keep saying it. I wish they did a little more with them, you know. Um, but that's just me being picky. And who knows, maybe they'll, maybe they're, uh, they'll make more. They'll do something different. Maybe this is just, uh, again, it was an invitation sketch that maybe they'll eventually down the line publish something more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not up to date with the deal. Uh, going zones and I doubt they'll ever you know really focus in on this so the swords this is if you're familiar with the Marseille or any like Italian tarots uh, this is from the Vaquera uh, tarot uh, or the tarot of the masters from Los Carabeo you're gonna see this is in one of the cards uh, the two of swords though is a little different I, I think that's from something else but uh, like the three of swords this is definitely from uh, the, the vaquera, these three hanging scabbard swords, you know, um, sheathed, I should say, swords are uh, in uh, the, uh, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the vaquera. I'm not sure. I think this one, might, I'm, I could be completely wrong. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the four of swords, yes. Uh, the five of swords, this one, yes, is, uh, is in the vaquera, I believe. They just, like, took the lines and, and did their own thing with it, you know? So, yeah. Six, seven. This one is, uh, yeah, this one I remember as well in the Vaqueta. Which I do like. I'm like, okay, okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, like, if you are going to, if you are going to do a, the, uh, a Marseille take on it, I would definitely say, you know, something extremely decorative for the Marseille. Uh, quote unquote Marseille uh, style deck, um, then I would for sure say go look at the the vaquera for that uh, because it's one of, it's one of the more beautiful and more uh, uh, decorative fa uh, flamboyant extra uh, Marseille decks compared to others where it's just very plain. And like I said, like the courts, courts for me, I, I I like to I like to see something interesting and new and and beautiful court cards here and here, although yes, these are beautifully drawn and all that. It's it's not doing much for me, you know. And then the coins again. I do like how the coins are also like using symmetrical takes on them. You know, symmetrical symmetry stuff going on here. So yeah, you can see this classic ribbon motif, and all the coins have that uh, seven-pointed star going on for them. So yeah, and you'll see they keep the ribbon throughout to make it more symmetrical and keep the symmetry going. You know, uh, and then it blooms out. I love that. I like how it goes from like from this, and then it expands and opens up. You know, I like that.
so yeah and there's not much else to say on it uh you know i, I mean it's it's beautifully illustrated you know like i like i said but it's just it's it's for what you for 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 what i paid honey <laughs> um but you know what i'm not entirely mad at it i don't hate it you know like I said, if I if and, and let me tell you when if I if I'm able to use it if if and when I make my my scans you know I'll send them to a printer and I'll print out you know a good copy that I that I will feel comfortable uh, using and uh, shuffling and practicing readings with then I will for sure get back and review how it works for me personally and if it even works at all uh, but for the meantime I'm holding on to this and this is definitely one that. Uh, yeah, it's it that that will be an interesting piece uh, for any collector out there. Uh, truly, it truly is a collector's piece at the moment. So yeah, uh, there you go. And I love how he wrote how they how they introduced this here with the intro. I, I put it up there at the beginning so you could pause and read it. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I uh, and and it honestly got me a little more curious to see more of Dior's work and to see who else worked with uh with fortune telling and fashion and the art you know i feel like the arts and uh, and fashion kind of go hand in hand a bit or you know uh, and and fortune telling i should say uh, and, and the occult and esoteric i think coco chanel read the lenormand i believe i could be wrong i could be wrong <laughs> uh so yeah uh that's it for this walkthrough i hope you all found this interesting and i hope you all enjoyed um like i said hopefully this gets uh picked up by a publisher or something or you know i, I hopefully something is done with this to make it more readily available uh for people who are interested uh, i wouldn't be mad if they just did a majors only you know because the minors i'm like well the, the number cards are actually okay it's the court cards <laughs> For me, it's the court cards. It's the court cards for me. Uh, because, it's, yeah. But again, for the most part, though, the, the box design, it's so simple. It's clean. It's beautifully done. It's, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next walkthrough and hopefully my tarot video series which is in the works at the moment who knows well, i'll actually upload the first one it's it's coming hold on patience i got a majority of the notes down just let me figure it out <laughs> and so yeah uh if you guys would like a reading from me uh there all that is in the description down below uh you can either get it from my from you can either get a reading from me uh, through uh, getting a book from me and then emailing me. Uh, my email should be down there as well. You can support me on my Patreon, uh, which is also in the description down below, uh, where you can get early access to certain things and exclusive access to this. I did a walk a walkthrough, first impressions live stream of this deck uh, on my Patreon uh, exclusively. The li the link is there, so you can watch it back if you guys would like that. Uh, and yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. <laughs> this will definitely bring up the topic of like overpriced decks, fashion and tarot, uh, and, and and the price of tarot and all that. Because let me tell you, it wasn't cheap, and it's yeah. And I'm recording this right as Baba Studios dropped the pre-order for uh, their fourth and po and most likely possibly final uh, Victorian Romantic tarot, uh, which I'm like, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the way Baba Studios has my has my has my bank account in a chokehold. Like, <laughs> all right. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all later. And again, please comment down below what you think about this. If you like, if you're like this is try or whatever, like t tell me. I want to see. I want to hear the discourse on this. I, because this is really because there's nothing being shown and shared about this deck and talked about on this deck. Because, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye, everyone.